What's going on here? Are you excited? Social media. You are going to be kind of looking at your one, five, and ten year goal. We started doing that as a family in 2019, and it's already 2023. Like, how fast did that go? One of my goals was to be a public speaker in 2026. Stephanie actually gave me the opportunity last year. We usually plan something in one year and we like overestimate, but in 10 years, we're like, oh my god, that's never going to happen. We're going to use that as a guide to tell our story. If we tell our story, even though that's not a strategy, it helps our people know us and love us. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna write that down. Yes, I want you to take these home, do your own thing, and start videos all of it on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, so you can start attracting your ideal client. What is your story that you can share with your ideal client? I did that for really? myself. I just reposted it the other day on my story, but I did like a, cause Sunny was actually my mentor for three months. And so she challenged me to be consistent. I did create like a reel about my timeline, like where I started, you know, like where I'm at and kind of like where I'm heading to. And then I look at it and it just reminds me how far I've gotten. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's really important. And also like reminds you like, oh wow, like looking back at it, I've gotten super far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love it. it. So love it. It's the baby one. It's the baby one. Yeah. And so I'm like, I'm not reading. You guys familiar with a guy named JJ Abrams? This guy, because he's like Tony Robbins' marketing guy. He's, okay. the, he's the highest paid marketer in the world. Basically, his claim to fame is he's been able to blow up like whatever company through marketing. And there was a, there was a time where J, JJ Abrams went a deal where they bought this building. Okay, and the building had a company that went out of business that created this goop. This is a little slime, right? They didn't know what the f it was. Okay. But that company's out. J.J. Abrams and they're building this new thing. And they started getting a bunch of mail. And the mail was like, hey, your stuff really worked. And this is a bunch of mail. And J.J. Abrams, being an entrepreneur and a marketer, is like, huh, what was this stuff, right? Yeah. Because how many times are there products that are great, but they just don't know how to get the word they out? Couldn't get to, they couldn't they get, get to the get market. To the they couldn't get to the market. So what does J.J. Abrams do? He calls back the, the people who made it. He's like, hey, guys, here's what we're going to do. We're going to call this thing Icy Hot because that's what it, that he came up with the name. Mm -hmm. And he called every single, because back then there was no internet. There was no, you know, it was all like print. He called every single magazine and he said, hey, this thing costs $3 per bottle. Okay. For every bo single bottle that you sell, you can keep 100% of the revenue. 100%. All we want is, you know, name, phone number, address, whatever, you know, he, they wanted to leave Imagine you went to other people, you said, hey, I'm, I want you to sell my course for $500 and you can keep the $500. I don't even want the $500, minus the fees and all that. I'm gonna give you everything. I just want you to make sure that I can have the name of the people who bought the course. They follow you and then they fall in love with you because of the course and then you can go sell them later. They bought your product. That's what IC Hot did. They paid 100% of the revenue out and then they would resell those people on the back end later. I've been thinking about getting some course I've done myself. Just roll up. Bye! Thanks for making me almost cry. Did we cry? Oh, 
We crying.